Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's been a while, I know. I've been doing a lot of research. I'm in Georgia. So, we're going to this site right there. See it? Oh, it's within city limits, and I don't normally do that, but we got this opportunity to check this place out. This used to be all farmland in here. About uh, 20 to 30 years ago, it was all farmland. Yeah, so we're going to see what's here. Might find some trash. It's close by where I'm staying, so why not check it out? I will show you what we got going on here. Let me get my equipment out and I'll show you. Actually, I got my phone. All right, check this out. Where are we at? Okay. Here we go. All right, this is what we're looking at. I got over 40 sites so far. Nope, that's not working the way I want it to. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And this is the one we're on today. It's just a lot that's been built up around all over the place. The house sat right there. Now, <laughs> Georgia. I've been all over researching Georgia libraries and, and everywhere I could try to find old maps and stuff like that. Unfortunately, there isn't much as far as, you know, dig here maps. Uh, a lot of states have maps where they show the house sites. Uh, this one, very rare to find in Georgia. But I did find one. 1931 I believe it was yeah 1931 um, old street maps it showed all the roads all the old roads in 1931 which would still be the same as 1900 ish maybe they added a couple but not many um, and house sites so 1900 to 1931 most of those house sites probably would have been there um, and what I'm seeing when I'm doing my satellite searches, the houses that still exist today, they're old houses. And the houses that are gone, my 47 or so that I have on my, uh, my map that I have pinned, uh, they're all gone. They may be older, so it's going to be hit or miss searching all these sites for sure hit or miss because... Uh, 1931 we don't know if it was built in 1930 um, or 1850 so we'll just have to go in check them out do our uh, recon with the metal detector find some silver find some relics get the history of it and then roll on so let's check this place out let's see what it has to offer hopefully it has some coins and some jewelry and buried treasure or whatnot. Let's see what's here. I don't know if this was a farmhouse. It may have been because this was all field out here at one time. But anyway, let's get started. Good seeing you. Happy Father's Day. Let's go find some relics. Go that way. Ah, bullet signal. Let's dig it and check it out. Be interesting if it's a bullet.
my, look how dry that is. Wow. Didn't sound very deep. Oh, I should have brought my knife. Lots of roots. <laughs> wow. Okay. Much deeper. May a part to a car? It's got some chrome on it. Yeah. Junk. Junk, junk, junk. First relic in Oklahoma or uh, Georgia. It's junk. Yep. Moving on. Now, what are we going to get here? Another junky 45 ish signal. All right, this ground needs some water. Is that a coin? Huh, why was that ringing up junky? It's a ring, it looks like. Some kind of ring. This isn't the kind of ring you wear, I don't believe. It's some kind of seal, copper seal ring. See the green patina on it? It might have some age. Interesting. Moving. I got a four and a half inch deep button signal. Let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, that's dry. Right in the middle somewhere. Thought that was an impression right there. Oh, still in there. It's in the root ball there. Well, I'm going to say that's not four and a half inches deep, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, I got my ring on. <laughs> I was wondering why I was hearing gold. <laughs> yeah. Piece of scrap. Now 
No telling. Wow, I kind of like it. You know, this is like hunting at the park, except for it's an old home site. Uh, if they're all, they're not all like this. Most of them are in the woods. <laughs> I just picked this one because it was quick, easy, and closest to where I'm staying. So, <laughs> hopefully, we find something decent. Yeah, I know. There's another old house site across the street too. It looks like it was built in the early 1900s. Yep. See ya. Well, we got our first mason top. Maybe we can tell how old this place is. Oh, it's crushed. It wasn't very deep. Is it a ball? Yeah, it's a ball. Really milky. Really milky. We'll take the shards back. And uh, clean them up and see how old that is. Uh, you can tell by the uh, the mixture of the ceramic whether it's milky can you see through it is it opaque yeah that kind of stuff so anyway mm -hmm. see you seven inches deep I like these deep signals but when they were removing this house they could have backfilled and uh, put you know another six inches over the top of something that was only one inch deep but only one way to find out right most likely gonna be in here oh I wish I would have brought my knife when I bring my knife what I do is I just I cut right there cut the grass top right off take the dirt and it breaks up so much easier right now all the roots are still attached so you gotta twist and bend and all this work shotgun shell that'll give us an age at least when they used this and when it was fired. Oh, I can't read it. Ranger. Winchester. Winchester Ranger. Yeah, we'll research that and uh, get a date on it. Because that's the fun part. Dating. Dating these places. Getting that history out of these places. Because they're lost. They're lost to history. They really are. Once modern Walmarts start coming in and replacing these old home sites where people lived, history is gone. But we pull up that history, don't we? Yeah. We tell the stories as much as we can. They had a big old tree back there. See it? Yeah. And you see how this landscape kind of goes down. The house, as far as the image shows, sat right here. There's a depression there. Looks like maybe something was going on. Outhouse or something. I don't know. Strange to have it in the front yard, though. Moving on. See you. Looks like a remnant of a license plate. Possibly. License plate or roofing. It's got that shape to it, like a license plate. Oh, but it's too long. Yeah, too long. And it's got this band going through it. Yeah, I don't see any numbers either. It's probably flashing for the side of the house or maybe for the roof. 
it's staying right there. We don't need it. We don't want it. Big 71 signal. Bouncing up to 83. Could be iron, but it could be copper or brass. I don't think I'm feeling it down there. Feels like more of that. That steel. Yeah, it's steel. This might be where they buried their their iron debris. Let's see what we get. Roofing material. Yep. Old roof. That's what that is. We got to remove that because of what if there's signals around it? That one's easy to get out. Okay, moving on. Got a 20 signal. Could be a button. Could be a shotgun shell. Could be a rock. No. <laughs> A V nickel, maybe. Yeah. How about a V nickel? I haven't found one of those in a while. Just wasn't old enough out there in Oklahoma. All right, where'd you go? Are you up in here? Check that real quick. Is that a pull tab? <laughs> Could be a pull tab. I have my ring on. <laughs> God, I keep forgetting about that. <sighs> Canslaw. Yep. Moving on. Beautiful sound. Sounds like a coin. It's ringing about 76 on the MX Sport. Nice. It emits like a bell tone for precious metals. Oh, look at that. Do you know what that is? Oh, yes, you do. Come on. I know you do. Because I find these a lot. Does Ford Model T come into mind? Valve stem cap? Yeah. Nice. Lost all its chrome. And it's mushed. It's got a little chrome on the side. Nope. A little bit. Oh, I just wiped it off. Ford Model T. Yeah. So what's that? Teen to the 30s? Uh-huh. All right, nice, moving on. Here's another nice signal, coming in about 76 again. I see some iron. A shoehorn? <laughs> Y'all know what a shoehorn is, right? Yeah. You uh, you put it back here, you slip it down in, you put your foot in, and this helps get past that, that large piece right there. Easy on, easy off. Made out of iron. Interesting. That's not what I was hearing though. Let me recheck this. Yeah, maybe that was the shape of it. 
yeah, the shape of it would have definitely gave that signal. Hit the top too. Nope. Yep, it was that. Moving on. Yeah, we hooked into something iron down there. You see the rust? You know, I'm not seeing pottery. I'm not seeing glass. What do we get? It looks like an old leaf spring. A leaf spring goes on the back of the car for the, uh, the back axle. And it provides that extra cushion. Yeah, it's missing uh, another section. <laughs> and there are usually three of them. One on top of the other that make up a leaf spring. Maybe, I don't know if Ford Model T's had leaf springs. I'm sure they did. That might be one of them. Yeah, considering we already found Model T parts. Moving on. See? Nice, loud. Kind of non ferrisy signal. I like those. Just mush it and break it and see what falls out. Not seeing anything. That's because it was deeper. <gasps> Mason top. Another one. That one's in bad shape. <laughs> no ceramic. No ceramic. This one's saying buckle, but I have a suspicion that it's just another mason top. And they're pretty deep. I'll just pull you aside because I think it's deeper. There's rocks down there. Well, I'm not scratching anything. Maybe it is a buckle. Ooh, what kind of nasty bug is that? Some kind of beetle, huh? Where are you at? What is it? We're going to have to swipe that again. I missed it. Interesting. I'm gonna shut you off. Bring it. Yeah, it was just down a little bit deeper. Another mason lid. It's a ball. Now with the balls, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to read this. There it goes. The way that the bees are will tell you the date and the rest of the lettering give you an idea of the date because they actually use different signatures oh is it intact it is we're gonna be able to tell something from that that'll give us a date and it's cracked, but that'll give us a date. We'll keep it moving on. Large cut nut, square, probably held some of the timbers together inside the house. Yeah, main structural component right there. Yep. Did we get some pottery? Oh yeah. Clayware. Nice, there's more down there. 
And there's a signal down there somewhere. That's the signal right there. Mason top. It's all deteriorated. Probably not much left of it besides what was protected by the ceramic. It's a Boyd's fruit canning jar. Yeah, Boyd's with an S. It's for fruit. Yeah, okay, moving on. That's nice. Something down in this hole giving me an odd signal. My detector didn't know what to think of it. Huh, neither do I. It's got like a hinge on it. It's made out of aluminum, so it's not that old. Something that flip-topped like that. Interesting. Pretty deep. Pretty deep. Oh, what was that? Is that coal? There's a piece of coal. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Big signal, 79, probably another mason top. I'm digging a ton of them over here. That means they were doing a lot of eating right here. And that's typical to find auto parts. This is where I found that uh, cracked. Still intact though. This is where I found that Model T part over this way. Probably the end of the driveway. Working on vehicles, eating. Yup. I had another one. Look how deep this is. And these things are down there. It's another ball. No cracks. Not bad shape, a little bent. That's a lot of dirt. That was down there. <laughs> I don't know if they filled this area in, put extra dirt on top of it or what. But yeah, wow. Just found two more. That one's intact. I don't know why they didn't use them, reuse them. I always like to look at these iron plates that I find. That looks like a kettle or something something to that effect because sometimes they have writing on them A square now yeah nice Lots of little goodies in this hole right here. <laughs> so I think they did some dumping back here. And I think this was the end of the driveway. And uh, <laughs> lots of food containers and stuff. Moving on. I always like looking at the soil profile view. See that charcoal right there? And there looks like some brick as well. This was an odd signal. I don't know what to make of it. So, we'll just have to see what it may be. Oh, next time I'm bringing my knife. <laughs> Another square nail.
some pottery. Let's check that, make sure we got it. <laughs> Before I start digging through it. I do that. I get interested in what's in the dirt and I start digging away. It's in there. Oh, these roots are pretty tough. It doesn't seem like it's very deep. I lost it. Oh, this thing's going crazy right now. I lost the signal. My uh, detector is going nuts. Doesn't like this soil. We got some kind of tag. <laughs> Hybrid T Celebrity US Patent Number PPAF. Well, we'll be able to get a date off that patent at least. I don't know how old this tag is. I don't imagine it's very old, <laughs> but it's a neat little tag, and it has a serial number, Weeks Roses Upper Canada, or Cal Upland Can California, that's what it is, interesting, I don't know what that image is, it's a weird image, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> moving on. Big old cast iron something. Oh, the flowers are blooming. Nice little grove in here. Well, I got a nice signal. Have you dig it with me? That is original soil. No topsoil. Like that over there. That's all topsoil. This might be original to the actual house. Not seeing anything. Let's see if we can get a listen. Oh, 
Why are they always in the root ball? Lost it. It's a coin. See it? Is it a weedy? No, memorial. No. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the date anyway. It's like a 72. Something like that. Moving on. Now we got another coin. Hopefully this one's a little bit older. It's a Lincoln. Another memorial. Interesting. I wonder if they use this place as a field or something. Uh, after the house was pulled out. Could have used it as, you know, like a picnic area or something. I don't know. Most of these city folk, though, they don't they don't hang out in lots like this. So having coins here, 2004. That's interesting because this house site uh, was pulled out of here in 1993. The satellite images shows this place gone in '94. So, 2004, somebody probably walking through here from the local liquor store, imagine. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Dropping their pennies as they're going, going that way. See? Well, that's interesting, I just pulled up. Could this be lipstick? I've never found one with this shape before. Definitely has some age to it. It has a little top on it, it looks like. Yeah, I believe that's lipstick. It has some kind of marking on the end. Let's see if we can read it. Uh, I can't read it. Hollywood something Hollywood we'll clean that up I think that's lipstick probably from the 20s or 30s lipstick was very popular nice I haven't found one that shape is that an octagon one two three four one two three Yep, octagon interesting okay moving on well this is neat I don't know but it's got a feature on it that's pretty significant looking. You see the pin on it? And the pin is still attached. That's a that's an old time pin right there. I don't know what that would have been attached to. It's it's copper, brass. Interesting. We'll see what else is down there. Maybe the rest of it. There's a root I gotta get. There we go. Let's see if the rest is copper. Uh, I'm hearing mix mixed metals iron mostly well I say that was it interesting moving on oh, beautiful signal
six inches deep. Let's go get it. Just an old valve stem. Maybe off a Model T. It looks like the right size. Let's find out. Oh my goodness. Am I going to be able to find it in there? <sighs> we'll save it until last. That bag's getting pretty full. <laughs> yep. Oh, here's a remnant. 30s, 40s, even 20s. Uh, that held razors for your shaving kit. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see what we're going to get here. Somewhere in this pile. I got it. Melted lead. They might have had a little burn pit out here. I uh, can't tell if that was a bullet. It's a little big to be a bullet. Probably a battery terminal. <laughs> Went bad. <laughs> yeah. Lead. And another shotgun shell. Peter's 16 gauge. Could you imagine shooting that off here? <laughs> In the middle of town nowadays? That wouldn't be so good. <laughs> They just stepped off their back porches and just blasted away. For fun, I think. I don't know. As many shotgun shells as there are in these old home sites. They just target practiced right out their windows, I imagined. Yeah. See ya. Got a 70 signal. Have you dig it with me? Because you never know. You just never know. That's the joy about metal detecting. What is that? I can't imagine that gave me a 70 signal, but it's got the shape it could have. Let's sweep it and check. Shall we? Yep, that was it. Whatever that thing is, I don't know. Old junk, yeah. Interesting find right here. This, this is a military clip button. It's, a, it's like a snap. World War II-ish, probably. Could be a little earlier, too. Interesting. You know, a lot of people served. Left behind remnants, but that usually goes with your gear. Yeah. Strange being out here. Yeah. Moving on. There's a nice sound in something. Is that sand? Interesting. Well, not so nice target, but nice sounding. It's hard to tell what that mush thing used to be. I don't know. Crap. This is an interesting spot. It's completely loaded with iron targets and other targets. And look at this. It has age. Do you know what that is? That's the little wheel that turns your wick up for your lanterns and lamps. And they usually have information on the ends. This one's in beautiful condition. We'll save that, clean it up, and see what we can figure out it went to. Yeah, I'm interested in this spot, though. This is, uh... Could be a privy. 
or a small dump. And there's the other end to the uh, the wick. That's the air holes right there. The wick would have came up through. Yeah. Lantern or lamp. Look at that big chunk of coal. Yeah. I missed that one. Bitimus. We got something in here. Mealworm. See him? I think we got it out. Sounded like it was right there in the end. Looks like part to a car. Yeah. Some part to a car. Mirror or something like that. Yeah. Junk. Oh, what'd we get here? Looks like a plate to something. Will it tell us anything? The only time you'll see me wear jeans. Oh, it does. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. I love finding identification plates. I didn't bring my brush with me. Okay, the Casey. Let's do some. Let's do some field cleaning here. Grab a stick. Start cleaning. I got a plate in the uh, High Point, North Carolina Museum. It's from a, a buggy company. They made uh, horse-drawn buggies. Beautiful plate. Near mint condition. This is nice and thick, this one. Let's see if we can read it now. The Casey and Hedges Manufacturing Company. Something Tennessee. Ch oh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, we got to figure out what this went on. And even though it's bent, if you put that in a hot oil bath, like what I use, a fryer, and uh, I just use olive oil, if you put that in a hot bath up to 400 degrees, heat that up, you can straighten that perfectly, perfectly flat and not ruin anything and it'll strengthen and clean and keep that patina. That is beautiful. That's a nice relic right there. 
we'll, we'll definitely have to uh, research this. The Casey and Hedges Manufacturing Company, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Nice relic. Beautiful. That's probably going to be the best one for the day. Nice. I like that. Curious to see what it went on. <laughs> Beautiful. That's why I do it right there. That's why I do it. Maybe this can go uh, in a museum as well. See ya. Well, we got a 71 buckle signal. It's a top, mason top, and a five inch, almost a coin signal. Sounds like a coin, kind of sitting funny. I don't like these cables. <laughs> I step on the cable and it rips the headphones off my head every time. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad for a coin. Or maybe not. Another lipstick. That's another lipstick. I got tons of these little ones like that. Most likely red. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Yeah, got a 75 signal in here. I've heard more ambulances today. People getting hurt out there on Father's Day. If they just get a hobby, go metal detecting. They'd be all right. No worries. Sounded like five inches deep. Yeah, right in there. I don't know, top to a lighter or something? Modern trash? Could be another coin. See it? Let's hope this time it's not a memorial. Oh, it looks kind of crusty. It's a weedy. All right, good. Good. Maybe we can get down to the the teens and really date this place are 19 would be nice. Yeah, it would. All right, let me clean on that a little bit and I'll return. It looks to read like a 1940. Yep, 1940 Weedy. Not too shabby. I'll take it, add it to the collection. Looks to be another coin sitting in there. A memorial. Huh. 
1999. Yeah, must have had some foot traffic coming through here. I was hoping for some silver. Yeah, that's going to do it for me. I just came out to see what was here. First hunt in Georgia. First piece of property. I think this is uh, number 47 that I listed on my map. It was the closest one. But number one, the first place uh, that's going to be a in the woods a hunt for a missing, lost kind of home site. One that's been probably abandoned for many, 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 many decades. Because, uh, yeah, 1993 is my oldest satellite view and nothing was there. Full grown hardwood trees. So uh, beyond that, who knows when the houses were gone. Those are the interesting places. This was nice though. It's kind of like going out to a park. Grass is mowed. I haven't had that in <laughs> decades. <laughs> yeah. Nice, easy, you know, don't have to trip over trees and logs and get bit by mosquitoes and all kinds of bugs and snakes and everything else. So, but I'm going back in the woods real soon. So I got a lot of house sites ready. Got a lot of property identified. I've been out for about two weeks handing out my postcards, getting locked on for these property searches. And we got a ton of them, a ton of them. Like I said, this is number 47. <laughs> Well, this one's, uh, it could be, uh, it could be hit again a couple more times, I would say. I didn't find any silver, and that's kind of, that's got me a little stumped. So, I know there's probably silver here, quarters, ho hopefully half dollars, be nice, dimes for sure. But I did find a 1940 penny, and, uh, some of this stuff is much, much older than 1940. So, like that data plate yeah that might even be turn of the century I can't wait to get that identified and cleaned up and straightened I'm not gonna be able to straighten it here in Georgia I'll have to wait until I get home back to North Carolina and straighten it up but I'm going this weekend so I'll bring it home with me and I'll clean it up anyways here's what I found lots of mason tops check it out yeah one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten so far. And there's plenty more in the ground. So they were eating good. That's a good sign. Got a little tag of some kind. Celebrity hybrid tea. I uh, don't imagine that's too old. An iron wasted horn and bunch of scraps of all kinds of eras. I don't save that. I have plenty of these things. I find tons of them. Found some pottery. Yeah, different uh, different ages of pottery. Got a couple memorials. Got that 1940. Got this nice little pin. No telling what that went to. I'm gonna clean it up and see if there's anything going on with it. A couple uh, lipsticks. Got the Model T Ford valve stem cap that data plate that made my day right there beautiful beautiful yep love it and we got this to identify a uh, little wick extender that bug just did a dive bomb on me come on you can do it come on there you go <laughs> and shotgun shells so no jewelry couple coins, lots of food, a data plate, some odds and ends to vehicles, got that valve stem, that might be the right size, it looks like it to me, doesn't it, yeah, so that's probably Model T valve stem as well, no telling what that was, some kind of modern thing oh there's my 1940 penny I was wondering where that went to some kind of plate looks like and this I wasn't sure I think I think that's a cap to something I don't know 
modern trash too. Aluminum. There's some modern garbage in there. Square nails. That's always nice. No idea. I thought that was a shotgun shell at first, but then it's way too big, too heavy. And somebody lost their uh, their the little habit stick. <laughs> Probably still works. Lead. Junk, junk, junk. Yep. First hunt in Georgia. And we got a keeper. A nice keeper. I'll let you know what this is. I'll post it. I can't wait to find out. I'm thinking maybe a stove. It's pretty solid. It's pretty heavy duty. Stove would be about right, I would say. But we'll find out. I'll let you know. Yeah. I'm back at it. Can't wait to get back out there. See you in the woods at the next site, site number one. And hopefully we find it, and hopefully there's some nice treasure there. So thanks for watching. See you on the next hunt.